All right, let's get into it. Welcome back to the Something Original Podcast. My name's Chase. And I'm Gannon. Hey, Gannon. Welcome back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just want to give us a quick shout out, actually. Uh, we are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Uh, we also have the Patreon. Gannon has his uh, first chapter of his book, Death Our Friend. He's actually currently writing chapter two, and that should be up uh, sooner than soon. you might. Yeah, soon. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, definitely go uh, give us a shout out on any of those platforms. Uh, leave a like, leave a follow, subscribe, comment. Just give us any feedback that you find suitable for the podcast, and uh, we just will greatly add questions. Also, if you're a listener that does not follow us on social media, and you want your voice heard in some way, um, we do shout outs. I don't know if you've heard of other episodes. We do that on this show. Um, we want to get more inclusive with the community that does like this show and wants to keep it going. Um, so yeah, dude, if you, if you don't follow us on social media, that's fine. I don't like social media. So if you're a YouTube listener, Spotify listener strictly, you know, or Apple music, leave a comment, talk to us. We're here, brother. And I will definitely try to reply to those. I know sometimes we get some YouTube comments and I'm like always a week late. It's always when I'm like uploading the newest episode and I'm like, oh, we had a couple comments on our YouTube video. I need to probably answer those. But yeah, I think the I think the easiest way to get in contact with either me or Gannon is through Instagram. I think that's the one platform that we're on constantly, yeah. the most consistently. Yeah, or you could uh, go in your backyard, get a big old pile of sticks, uh, mm-hmm. light it. You you have a smoke signal go up. Yeah. All of a sudden, mm-hmm. in the distance, all you hear is, gah, gah, and then I fly down. I could do that also, if if yeah. you need that. The bird summoning is for a special fee of sixty six mm-hmm. sixty six. So. Oh shit. Yes. It's a deal. I mean, honestly, he would always <laughs> charge me like a hundred twenty. Yeah. Times are tough, I know that. So I know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that bird. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just I do wanna just apologize. I know we were supposed to get a episode out last week and we were gonna try to do it just uh, like delay it, you know, just get it out sometime last week. Uh, but it never happened, <laughs> and I do sincerely want to apologize. We want to get better at just putting out these episodes more consistently, and we definitely want to keep doing exclusive stuff for the Patreon uh, that we absolutely need to start doing. Gan, we need to get on that. Mm-hmm. Audience, hold us accountable, because we actually have Patreon subscribers now. Yes, we Oh, do. my God. <laughs> shout out to Jordan. Uh, shout out Jordan. He was the first one. Um, Ever. But, yeah, dude. Ever. So Jordan, special special thing coming your way. We're gonna actually do yeah. a exclusive Jordan episode of the podcast on the Patreon. First, first copy of Death, our friend, for free, signed by us. Boom. <laughs> well, it would be you because you're the one writing it. I have no yeah. participation in it. Well, you can still sign on it from from the crew. You know, <laughs> we we essentially hey, birthed this baby together, so it's like both our names on it no. you know that? Yeah. <laughs> i guess yeah i yeah, appreciate yeah. it man no but problem. once we once we get some merch maybe we'll throw some his way too oh mm-hmm. dude by the way we might have merch soon i don't know maybe really let let us know what you guys think would you guys care for some some something original merch you know chase i know i would i know i would <laughs> Miko, do you want some? he does he, he you can't hear him, but he does. Well, he it, wants we should call it something like real, like you know, tasty, like a S S O merch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Original merch. Original merch. Lurch merch. Lurch merch. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. So right. let's let's get into the episode. <laughs> we that was that was a very long opening, but uh. Oh. So we we talked about on the last podcast. I'm pretty sure the fart lady, the fart jar lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, she actually did a podcast with uh, I think Adam it was the 22. No Jumper. 
Yeah, Adam Twenty Two, the No Jumper podcast. Yeah. For one, I, I, I well, let's just talk about the girl for for a sec. She went on the podcast, and I remember us talking about like, oh, I wonder what she charges for that, or I wonder like how many she does at a time. And we were we were so far off with our numbers. <laughs> One, yeah. we said it was like maybe 30, 50 bucks. And yeah. she was probably maybe doing like 30 at a time. No, no. How much does she charge, Gan? Do you remember? It's a thousand, but she had them on sale for 500, 50% off. Can't beat that, guys. You could either buy, you could either buy a grill. Yeah, I'll put it in perspective. You could buy a grill, a plain Jane gold grill, or a fart jar. How much value are you getting out of that grill, really? A delicious amount. I miss mine tremendously. Once you have one, uh, you, you, you can't go back, bro. It, it's such an addition, especially if you have the necklace match the grill, okay? You understand this. Then if oh, you you're talking got the about, spicy wait, wristwatch. You got the wristwatch. You're, right? like you're talking about the teeth grill, not the yeah. cook on the grill grill? Oh, like a foreman grill? <laughs> a foreman grill. <laughs> Sponsor us. Dude, that would be such a fire collab hoodie. Dude, Foreman Grill just, SO podcast, dude. Just imagine the SO logo <laughs> on a the grill. Fucking rain- on a grill. You lift up that lid, lift it down. You see the rainbow yeah. coming out of the eye, bro. Oh, just, man. Just in time for Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> just in time for Valentine's Day is coming up, dude. Tell you yeah, what. Yeah, that's right. Everybody likes your- the grill. Get your special person a fart jar <laughs> for Valentine's Day. Yeah. I heard they're 50% off. And it comes with a picture and video of it. That That is also something I wanted to get into. We were wondering how uh, she was guaranteeing a fart in the jar. She's <laughs> sending videos of her farting into jars and sending them to the people. I just don't. Like, get an NFTs. Get an NFTs, bro. Get an NFTs. Don't buy farts in a jar. Just go buy some NFTs, you fucking weirdos. <laughs> At that point, yeah, you just gotta, <laughs> you just gotta go in on some NFTs. Yeah, dude, get into crypto. Do something different. I wonder, I because she says she's she <clears throat> sold a hundred of them, or no, she sold ninety seven. Three of yeah. them broke in shipping. I'm pretty sure is what she said. Oh. Uh! Ima- imagine you, you a FedEx driver, bro, <laughs> and you lift up that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you lift up the door and it's broken. The jar's broken. The farts escaped. That that's oh a bad God. smelling truck, dude. And it's Damn. probably hot. Do they have to pay her back for that? Oh my God, there's levels to this. No, oh yeah, she's dude, got insurance I'm sure, on it. Oh I'm my sure God. she's got insurance on it. The insurance agency has to then pay for a fart, bro. This is why our money costs fucking nothing. <laughs> That's why no, this this is why we just need to go away from money. Money can it just gets you stupid shit. Yeah. And there's literally. so much convoluted shit. Like there is insurance for fart jars. That's insane, bro. What a time to be alive. Right? No, not at all. Back actually. in the 50s they were like one day we are going to be a learned society. Fast forward to 2022. Dude puts his debit card in, buys fart. Ooh. <laughs> imagine like imagine telling somebody in the 50s like, oh yeah, and you're he's probably asking you like, oh what what have we advanced to in 2022? We have flying cars and flying cities. No, nope. no, <laughs> we can buy farts in a jar though. That's true. I honestly, I honestly. Win win. I mean, I think it's better than a flying car. Not dystopian, but not quite utopian. No, we are not making any progress as a society, honestly. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Just a bunch, bunch of dumbs. This is actually going to be in Humanities Manifest, the fart jars. Really? Really? Mm hmm. Yes. Mm. Mm. I think it's Putting necessary. It in. I think so. I think it's a staple in our... Do you think they're going to talk about this in the history books? No. You don't think so? I just think about that saying in that movie where the guy's like, uh, 
this is why no one will remember your name. And, like, I honestly think about what we're doing right now, and I just don't, I don't see it. You get on TikTok for a couple minutes, you're like, yeah, we're not going nowhere anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I kind of <laughs> want to change my answer to, like, oh. what I think the cringiest thing is that okay. people do. And I think it's just uh, TikTok guys dancing, thirst trapping on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I see them. I just, know. yeah, I, I they never come up on my feed. It's always just a video of somebody making fun of them, you know? Yeah. And I think that's just, I think that is the bottom of the barrel for me. <laughs> that is just like, you cannot get any lower than that. And for one, it's always like grown ass people. It's always like grown adults yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> making videos for like twelve year olds. Yeah. And they they always and it's not even like good dancing. They're not even putting effort into it. Right. They're just it's just a thirst trap, you know. It's definitely no magic mic. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude. If I was like that, bro, I'd go all in, shirt off. I would try to get abs somehow. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Off oil, baby oil, all over oh, my body. Okay. Brand. <laughs> <laughs> that okay was a little too much for me. You're like, oh shit. All right. God damn. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. 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 yeah we're getting close. <laughs> we're getting close. We're getting closer. <laughs> the ranch. The ranch. That's the it. Ranch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Sorry. All right. So, how have you been this week? I haven't talked to you in, like, two weeks, honestly. What do you mean? Podcast-wise. The podcast doesn't know we conversate outside of the podcast. That's true. We don't, actually. I actually am not even a person outside of this, this audio. This is one only time I'm alive. After this, I go into cryogenic slumber until the next Sunday when we record again. So, that off week, dude, it's like an eternity yeah. in there. Just in my cryogenic yeah. sleep. Gone. So what what's going on through your like consciousness? Usually it's um me like as a chipmunk. Okay? But I'm stuck okay. in the attic. And I'm trying to escape this attic and it seems like I every time I am about to escape something very inconvenient happens, you know? So mm-hmm. it's just it's just it's a thing every time. It's like oh 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 so clo- oh nah. Nah. So yeah. you, so you're constantly trying to escape your yeah. like slumber attic, attic yeah. Because I want to live longer yeah. than an hour a week, Chase. Mhm. Mhm. So why do you go back into like cryo to stasis for it, whatever? To technically live forever. I want to see out how, the next 8 generations and see how this all falls apart. Mhm. So you're you're betting on the downfall of society. I'm not betting on it, but it's just no. I don't know. I'm, I'm not betting on it, but it, it's like <laughs> definitely doesn't look great. No, I I kind of wanted to talk about something. It's kind of it's kind of serious and kind of like oof. Like we are terrible people. Um, the the UN the UN. Uh, I don't know if this was a recent vote or not, but. It it's come into it's come into like public eye. It's in the news, I guess. And the UN voted on uh, whether uh, we should just make food a human right across the board. We just give food to people that need it, and we just we just say you since you are born into this world, you deserve you deserve food. Period. Everyone, every single country, a part of the UN, voted yes, except for one country. Who do you think that country was? Canada. Final, final guess? No. Dominican Republic. Are, are you being serious? <laughs> no. I take that back. Wakanda. Oh no, dude! They they are they're super progressive there. They would okay. absolutely get food there. Don't do not disrespect Wakanda. <laughs> uh, Soviet Russia. They are no longer a country. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Guam. Do you want me to, do you want me to spell it out for you? You're getting yes. closer. Guam is a close one. Oh, okay. Hawaii. Uh, yeah, you're getting there. <laughs> you're getting there. What is Hawaii a part of? Oh, the Pacific. Ocean. I fucking it's the it's USA. The Philippines. No. <laughs> America. America is oh. the only country that decided we don't think food should be a human right. Well, of course, because then Mickey D's would be out of business. Well, they I, it, it would just, like, give people food that need it. I mean, obviously, you have to still pay for McDonald's, you know? Yeah, but then if people are getting free food, you know, that's very convenient for them. So it's not going to be like, hey, I'm going to go to McDonald's if I have my f- fridge full of food right now. Well, I'm sure it'd be, like, a handful of people I've, that would get that. I mean, I'm guaranteed. A handful of people would get, so only some people would get it. Yeah, I think so. Only like the, you know, the ones that absolutely have no means of getting food. You know. Yeah. They can't. Af- they can't afford to make double. You know. Mm. McChicken. Oh, dude, remember that Buffalo Ranch McChicken? That McDonald's? Oh my god, dude! I we used get- to smack <laughs> those before track, dude. Yeah. Yeah, those are good times. And the rel dogs. And the rel dogs, dude. <laughs> Man. For people that don't know, for context, me and Gannon would go to track meets. We would be at the track meet, and we'd be like, "Eh, we're you know we're hungry. Let's go get a let's go get a hot dog." And they would always have relish. We would <laughs> fucking load them bitches up with relish, and they were the best thing. Dude, After were- we would run a race, though, we would be cramping so hard. I would at least. I don't know. Maybe Dude. Gannon would had a different workout regimen. Um, as a uh absolute uh athlete <clears throat> i don't get cramps like that dude <laughs> so are you bragging I, right now yeah dude i can just take rail dogs to the dome <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> but um, yeah good times dude yeah dude ah man do you do you miss those days man where you just didn't have to worry about the fucked fucked up world that we live in you could just down a rail dog and run a race <laughs> yeah and get some barbecue water dog <laughs> get some bar- barbecue water what yeah, yeah dude dr pepper <laughs> uh oh oh yeah dr pepper you gotta get the dr pepper with the rail dog bro <laughs> i don't remember that i thought i always got water or something maybe oh. i did get a dr pepper I you're would. over here big you're balling dude getting a fucking yeah. dr pepper and a rail dog shoo 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 like that wow <laughs> but i don't know <laughs> it, it was good times but i don't know yeah miss high school really you don't miss high school at all really i mean like chilling hanging out was always cool but yeah now we have to like work for a living pay taxes and yeah dude shit. if you if you look at the system like that, dude, just look at the system as, as um, you know, like a bridge instead of a wall, my guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying, actually. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> no, dude. What are you fucking saying right now? I don't. I don't exactly know either. Um. So, how how have you been though? <laughs> Oh, you know me, dude. Just, just chilling, man. Lay back out here in Colorado. You know it's getting cold. Then it's getting warm the next day. What the fuck's mm. happening? It's winter, and it's Colorado. Blizzard. I thought it was supposed. To, I it, there was a blizzard, and then it melted away the next day. Mm. Climate change. Anyways, but yeah, dude. My my past two weeks have been good uh audience listeners i've been fine you know and good health i heard you were sick though that's actually why we didn't record monday you just weren't feeling good don't come at gannon it's fine because you know he needed to rest it was uh actually a yeti incident hunting (laughs) incident so garfunkel are you here in the flesh what happened with the yeti uh well it was a little bit of a misadventure, as I was going down through the Alps, of course, as usual. Um, 
They had a trap ready for me. They've seemed to evolve past the simple sticks and stones, but uh, have elaborate traps made from vine. Yes, and hair. They tie them together into like a, a bit of a knot tied to a, a rock on the other side. Yeah, so they 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 drop the rock here. Get me foot right, right, right at the cusp, right here down at the bottom. Okay. Next thing you know, I'm topsy turvy, upside down. I'm looking around. All I see is fucking snow everywhere. You know, up here in the Alps, it's just snow. And mm. then next thing you yeah. know, I'm just knocked out. Don't know what happened. So the the Yetis, for one, the Yetis have evolved into making traps. They must be onto you guys, hunting them. Exactly. So, how many Yetis have you been killing? I'm sure, you, I mean, they must be obviously retaliating. You must have taken out a good chunk of their population. Uh, me? 223 confirmed. Wow. They call wow. me Ace around these parts, huh? Eh? But, but they did, they got you. So, they made a trap and you, and but they didn't come back and, like, try to kill you or anything? That's crazy. Yeah, my, my squad came in after that. I said, help! I said, help me! Help me! I'm down here! Down here in the gully! Down here! Help! And every, everything ended up fine, though, right? So you're, oh, yeah. you're just rested back at camp or something? Yeah, back at camp. Okay, okay. Flew uh, down is, Cap- to- is Captain Falcon still a part of this adventure? Uh, y- Yes, but he's more of a Jedi Master. Within the ranks, he's back at HQ now. We try to keep him off the front line just in case they get back there. So did you ever learn his Falcon Punch? Absolutely not. Oh, still not. But you still you have 200 plus uh, Yeti kills to your name. And you're doing yeah. it all without his uh, signature move set. I know you were yeah. talking about this first time you I, came on the podcast. I, at, this, at this point, I've almost developed my... F- own full move set so eventually they'll be saying that do the garfunkel jab you know <laughs> something like that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. wow wow so you're you're talking to the town there yeah big 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 thanks <laughs> <laughs> well thanks garfunkel for uh coming on the podcast i greatly appreciate it uh hey, no problem there no problem there uh, just pass again in the microphone if you could. Okay. Hey man. Oh, man. Oh yeah. Hey man. Uh, I love talking to Garfunkel, dude. He's so much more interesting. I fucking hate that guy. So cocky. Oh, you hate him? I. Uh, you yeah, hear he is him the whole cocky. time. Yeah, dude. Get off your high horse, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, how many Yetis have you killed? Um, t- I. <laughs> what's the next topic then? okay well we actually we are gonna start doing some segments now something original dude we're fu- we're bringing in the content for you wait guys. we can afford segways seg well we can't afford segways yet but we can start doing segments <laughs> okay nice dude I would love to actually have some, like, segue music and maybe even some intro music. Uh, If you're fans of the podcast and you want to help out the podcast, send us some free (laughs) audio, custom audio for the podcast, Mm -hmm. and we will shout you out. I'll honestly pay you, honestly, if you want to just do it. If you're a fan of the show and you want to help us out, that'd be awesome. But Mm -hmm. going into the segment, it's a segment called uh, Some Original Advice. And we do. We will be doing this every week. Maybe we'll do it every other week, where we go on our social media and we will ask, "Do you guys want any original advice?" And we had some people last week send some in. Uh, again, do you want to start? Or you want me to go off the um, top? Yeah, I can. I can start. Um, okay. So I got my original advice question from a good listener of ours. His name is Ty. And, um, okay. so he would, his question was just like, what's a good, cheap microphone setup? And I simply told him, I sent him my microphone setup, which is a, uh, toner TC7, I think is what it's called. TC7. Yeah. 
Um, it's literally like $34 on Amazon. So if you think this is crystal clear, you were looking for a setup, super easy setup. It's got a little tripod on it. It's convenient for podcasting. Um, Chase had got us really nice ones, but yeah, shit happened. And I don't have it anymore. Um, <laughs> all good. All okay. Yeah. But what, do you know what mics you have? Uh, I know it's a toner, but I'm not sure what specific make and model it is. You know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I, I might, uh, just put it in the podcast notes, uh, once I do it and I'll look it up and see, I know it was, I know if you go to the toner website, I think it was like 70 bucks, 60, I don't know. It's yeah. pretty affordable. And honestly, it's a very good quality mic. And, uh, they are. And, and those have, uh, clip stands, uh, you can clip them onto like, uh, desks or, you know, tables yeah. or whatever you got a little, if you're in the kitchen and you want to do a counter set up, you can clamp it down right there and then, and it's a USB also, yeah. Oh, yeah. Both are. Yeah. Both yeah. are. Yeah. Which is super convenient. Super convenient. I don't know how to do all the other stuff, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. I mean, I have like a, a Scarlet, um, shit, like a end connection, but I haven't set, I never set it up because honestly, if you're looking for just podcast audio, you don't need to have like all the adapters and everything. You just need yeah. USB in and you're good. Yeah, uh, yeah, you you should be fine, honestly. Mm-hmm. Any honestly, any mic, if you just tweak the settings too. a little bit, yeah, yeah you all, you need a laptop. You need some yeah. way of recording you can't it. Just some people it record it on their phone. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've seen just, that. I mean, could, whatever floats your boat. When whenever we get cyborg bodies, I do want to be able to put an ox in my nipple and play audio through my mouth. That'd be pretty cool. That would be insane. I want that to be a feature. Whoever's making the next uh, era of cyborg AI technology, I want that to be included. Yeah. I want that to be a feature. Yeah. Um, but going into my original topics, uh, we actually had two listeners send in uh, advice that they want for college. And we did touch on this in a previous podcast, but the two are uh, Liz, who is uh, a fan favorite or a podcast favorite. Uh, she always is sending in uh, topics and stuff through the podcast, and we greatly appreciate them. Uh, and Trey, who was actually on the podcast uh, a couple po- – or a while ago, and they just they just want some college advice. Um, Trey says college uh, is a scam, though, mm. and Liz totally, is just asking totally for college advice. So yeah, uh, I personally, honestly, college to me is a scam. Uh, just I, I mean, if you're going in for like nursing, like you're trying to actually get like a legit degree, like you absolutely need that to like further your career. Definitely do it. I think it's worth it, and I think it it just ends up paying for itself. But if you're like if you're like me, <laughs> and you go to college to do graphic design or something, it's not worth it at all. Just watch YouTube videos, seriously, uh, or just find an internship that uh, in like the field that you want to do, and just try to do that, or just be try to get into the field that you're in at a low level, and you can just you can rise up through that, you know. Mm. But um, if you are still wanting to stay in college, my best advice is to do the same thing. Watch YouTube videos. Just try to go outside of the normal source material or go away from the normal source material and try to find a different avenue and just try try to find new fun ways of like learning and uh, just studying and do all that stuff and give yourself – as much self-care as you need definitely don't try to overbear yourself with stress and everything but definitely don't try to fall behind you want to have a good healthy medium mm. but what about you gan do you have any advice um uh <laughs> so <laughs> yeah dude i'm coming with you on the the scam thing but at the same time like he was saying i think uh Kind of to piggyback off what you're saying, if for some reason your field does need 
to have that education. It seems like nowadays, if you have something you're talented at and with the right um, publicity through Mm -hmm. social media, because, like, that's the era we live in, unfortunately, (laughs) you know. (laughs) So you can promote yourself in so many different ways that way. I don't know how where I'm going with that. Uh, I think what you're saying is there are so many different avenues outside of college. Yes. That's so, what I'm yeah, like, and social media is a great tool. LinkedIn, dude, make your LinkedIn before you even, I mean, if there's any high school listeners, which I don't think there are, but there might be. If, um, if you're just thinking about going into college and you're getting pressure from your parents, I don't know. I always want to, I wish I just, took a break out of high school i wish i just took a leap year a gap year and just tried to like figure out what i really wanted to do with my life because at 18 17 18 that is such a hard thing to ask yeah like oh you're you're coming out of high school you better figure out what you want to do with your life forever and there's and there's yeah there's no going back at all Unless you somehow get lucky and you're able, or you're rich and you can just do whatever the fuck you want, yeah. You know? And that's what I don't like about the education system is it is so expensive to go to a nice school. So it's like if you want to change your field, you gotta like, you know, start all the way back yeah. over. It's like the what? That's fucked. You know? Yeah, that it's it's a lifetime of debt too. And honestly, yeah. you think like when you're 18 and you're signing those loan papers like I did <laughs> and you're thinking this is going to be a good idea for my future, it's not worth it. Seriously, it's it's just it's so much. It really is and you're going to be paying for it the rest of your life unless you get absolutely lucky, you get through your field and you're, you know, high top top person in your department or whatever making all this money and you can actually pay all that stuff off. They honestly, they make it to where you can't pay it off because the interest is so fucking stupid Hmm. Uh, with the, with the VA. Are you like getting all that paid for though? Uh, yeah, that is, that is also an option. You can be in the the military (laughs) and they do pay (laughs) for everything. Would you recommend it? Honestly, if you have thick skin, uh, can take a joke, um, are tenacious, um, it's not, I mean, like, I, I'm just saying for my own Navy personal experience, um, it's not for the faint of heart sometimes, for sure, mm-hmm. depending on also yeah. what job you have in there. Um, I was a firefighter, so it was a little different sometimes, but. If you got if you got a good good head on your shoulders, go uh, go go see the world, man. Why not? For free on the government's dime. I mean, yeah. you could blow up, but hey, <laughs> you could die, but hey, I mean, it's worth it. It's worth yeah, it. it's pretty fun though. I saw I saw a lot of the world. Yeah, I, honestly, I thinking back to it, I definitely don't. I I definitely wish I. Uh, or there's a part of me where I kind of wanted to do the military, mm-hmm. but there's also that part of me where it's like, uh, do I really want to be a part of that? You know, mm-hmm. but like, like Gannon was saying, you get to see the world. They pay you to do that. You just got to like do what they ask and just make, have some thick skin. <laughs> make lifetime friends. Like Chase has pretty much met all of my friends through like video games. <laughs> Literally. They, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had, you know, well, we were thinking about having two of your Navy friends on the podcast, but yeah. they just keep, they just keep flaking. Yeah, they keep swerving. Okay. Swerving. I kind of want to blame Trey for not doing the podcast last week <laughs> because we were going to do it Sunday, but then he was like, uh, let's just do it tomorrow. I'm not feeling it. And then I was like, all right, you know, cool. And then the next day, Gannon was sick. Or I mean, Garfunkel was caught in a trap. Yes, Garfunkel was kind of the trap. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And when that happens, for some reason, I have to go into my cryogenic sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Is Garfunkel the host body? Um, t- 
Technically. But we don't talk about oh. it that much. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so did you have any? Did you have any other advice that you want to talk about? Honestly, uh, I got what is a tube sock from this um, dweeb named Chase, I think. Chase, Chase, Chase. I think it's Chase. Um, I think that's how. It, I think that's how it's pronounced. Yeah. Yeah, Chase. And uh, his question was, "What is a tube sock?" And it's simply what Chase Chase is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it's funny because I, I actually have a similar advice somebody gave or wanted advice for. <laughs> uh, what is a turtleberry? Yeah. And it, it was it was a it was a it was a weird weird guy named uh, Ga Ganon Ganon. That guy sounds fucking tight. Uh, who is that? But anyways, to answer to answer the question and to give you advice, you never want to be a turtleberry ever. Just if you if you're getting into turtleberry territory, you want to just take a U-turn, mm-hmm. go the but, go another path. But that is exactly who this Ganon person is. Whoa. Well, I heard Chasse is a turtleberry Johnson. Which if you're a turtleberry Johnson, you can't come back from that. So do you act? Can you actually uh, explain to me what a turtleberry is? I don't think we've ever. Well, it all depends on the it. the context. It could be a good. It's like it's like the word fuck. But it's, mm. you know, it's mm-hmm. like that. It could be good. It could be bad. You could say it, you know, in a good time, in a, maybe a moaning manner, you know? Turtleberry. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> perfect. Ah, <laughs> uh, turtleberry. You know? It's perfect. So that's pretty much what it is. It's essentially the word. Um, it's just, it's essentially a swear word. We had to come up with them growing up in a Christian mm-hmm. household, and mine was Turtleberry. I made it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I that, love. It. I mean, that's good. Yeah. One day I'm gonna make a tur- T-shirt that says it. Yeah, I w- I wanted to make a Turtleberry NFT once I get into the NFT game. And I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll get I'll gift it to you. I'll gift it to you. Dude, that'd be so sweet. What's what's the blockchain you're gonna attach to it? I've been reading up on NFTs. I know what they are. <laughs> I have no idea. I thought the blockchain was the blockchain. Dude, you can you can have those motherfuckers so you can have front row tickets. That's that's like something that's been attached to one. Is like front row tickets for life. They do things. Some of them do. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I I don't know how to do extra stuff to mine. I'm just gonna make a picture. What, and I hope it, people just screenshot it. <laughs> what it could be like unlimited Kroger's. <laughs> groceries Tur- turtle berries especially. i don't think i can do that honestly yeah what about um i don't think i'm affiliated with kroger what about a, what what about a free high five every uh, time i see, every time i see you free high five how am i supposed to know are they just gonna have to like show me that they own the nft to get the high five i don't want to be giving out free high fives i'll buy it and that's why i want the blockchain Oh, so you're gonna be the one that holds the turtleberry, yeah, NFT. I will literally okay. hold on to that thing like a blue eyes white dragon. Shit. Oh well, yeah. You better not sell that. Honestly, <laughs> this podcast will get super famous, and <laughs> I know, the turtleberry it's gonna... NFT is gonna be like worth a billion dollars. <laughs> and it's gonna be for so a you'll, free you'll high five. <laughs> definitely sell it and from it's gonna be a free high five from the previous owner no matter who that is you know what i'm saying so if someone buys it off me then they every time they see me they get free high fives yeah well you heard it here first and i'm sure the podcast listeners are gonna want me to make that turtleberry nft soon so that would be so funny <laughs> and then one day i'm gonna make one that has free tacos every time you see me Every time you're in town, free tacos. How about that, Shit. guys? You're going to hate that. <laughs> That'd be amazing, bro. That'd be so fun. Just let me so know. This is, this is actually really funny because I had another uh, person that sent in advice, and his name is Adrian, a fan of the podcast and a good friend of me and Gannon. Uh, he asked, or he said, I wasted all my money on NFTs. Help. That's just bad finance. <laughs> Yeah, are you dumb or are you dumb? You should have just bought a fart jar. I think 
I think we could just hit the uh here. I gotta <laughs> just the, skip I gotta, it. I gotta find the button. It's uh stop the cap. There it is. <laughs> I had that edited. I had that put on my laptop recently. I didn't hear it. <laughs> oh here. <clears throat> stop the cap. Oh, there we go. Oh, is it just the you? <laughs> I'll cut that. I'll cut it. What do you mean? Nothing, nothing. Okay. Moving on. Stop the cap. Do you have any other <laughs> Do you have any other advice? Um that no, I told you I only got that one. I got this right. question. I never I never listened to you, it's fine. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Just in the wind. Dude, my fucking my Fortnite got hacked. Do you want to talk about this? <laughs> yes, dude. That was so funny. We were This was a funny event that you know, we talked about this on a previous podcast. We've been uh playing Fortnite. We've been getting <laughs> into Fortnite. And uh during one of our play sessions, <laughs> I noticed a lot of my stuff was getting changed around like on my profile. I was like, I'm not like selecting the skin. I'm not like playing as the skin, you know? And my name got changed to like TM Savage or something. Yeah. And my gamer tag my date <coughs> my gamer tag is Taco Remedy, which is, it was just odd. And then middle of the game, we're playing a game. It's me, Ganon, and uh, Trey. We're playing a game. And I get kicked out. And Ganon, what, what happens next? <laughs> next thing you know, all, all you hear is like a, a uh, small, small child man with a accent come on <laughs> and start talking. And I thought it was Chase just fucking with us. So I'm talking to this voice. Trey goes, the voice. And I'm like, wait, what? And he goes, the voice. And I was like, oh, sh-. I'm like talking to a total stranger. I realize at this point, And I'm like, well, that's weird. <laughs> and next thing you know, he gets logged out. And I'm like, whoa, that happened. It was mid-game, too. That's impressive. Mid- yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. impressive. Like a nine-year-old, like, yeah. Indian kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he just hacks my account mid game, or he just takes a hold of my account mid game because I guess he had already accessed my account because he was changing shit around. Mm. But yeah, I get I get kicked out of the game, but he somehow is controlling my character as yeah. I got kicked out. So I'm like having to change all my settings, like my Epic Games like info, like I have to change my password and stuff. And eventually I get it all restored, but it's just like, he kept, he kept like inviting me to his, oh yeah, when I joined back, he joined my party and started talking to me. I was like, what's your fucking deal, dude? And then he just left. (laughs) Like, what is this? What is these Fortnite kids deal? All right. I'm just trying to have fun, play game with my friend. Yeah. They have to just ruin it, bro. Just took the cd and they scratched it i I just don't get it dude like why i guess it is an old game and they're just like uh, you know like it's boring might as well just go hack some random people yeah because then they get all the skins yeah i did have a lot of old school skins so that's maybe that's maybe why they wanted my account he got targeted yeah i think so but uh, since we're on the topic of games, did you see that <laughs> Xbox bought Activision Blizzard? Really? Yeah. Did you just not see that? Actually, I did see that. I saw it as a meme where Thanos is talking to Tony Stark. And then he goes, I am Xbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did see that. So yeah. I guess they bought it for 70 billion million or billion i know it's a big difference but 7.3 I mean, billion 7.3 billion so yeah, yeah. wow 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 so they have but, but then they have range call, <laughs> now they do yeah for sure and now playstation's in the dumpster <laughs> yeah so now they have call of duty they got world warcraft uh fucking overwatch oh my god dude if they made a new world of warcraft i'm so playing i don't give a fuck no they, they make... already announced it dude, are you fu- it's nah. a it's a world it's a world of warcraft type of game it's not world of warcraft but it's supposed to like be MMORPG? it's gonna be obviously like a 
PC. Yes, I think so. It's going to be like, I don't know. It's going to be like very immersive, very like the Please the combat is going to be. No, it's going to be Xbox and PC exclusive. Oh, dude. Big bets. I'm in there. Finally, bro. So, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> Finally, Xbox is getting somewhere. But it is kind of like because they just acquired uh, Bethesda last year, you know. So is that Skyrim? Yeah, that's Skyrim, Fallout, uh, oh that God. new, like, uh, space game. I forget what it's called. Star Citizen? No, not Star Citizen. That's a Cloud Imperium, I think. It's that uh, new one that, like, they announced at E3. It hasn't come out yet. I don't know yet. But it, it looks sweet. I forget what it's called. It's, like, Star something. I don't know. Star but Turtle. That... <laughs> Star Turtle. Turtle Berry. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, dude, isn't that, it's just so crazy. And like Xbox is just acquiring all these big studios and they're just, do you, do you think that's like, okay, coming from like, you used to be a very avid PlayStation person. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never done that. I've never played that console. No, you, no, you did. You have. No, that was a try. What? I would never do that, bro. I never. I've been Xbox since day one, bro. That's right. Never switched sides once. Been here with you, baby. Whole time. If uh, listeners of the podcast remember, <laughs> Gannon was trying to convince me to get a PlayStation. I don't know what you're talking about. That was no, Garfunkel. I... That was Garfunkel. <laughs> no, Garfunkel's cool. Garfunkel is a PlayStation guy, okay? He, he's, he's probably ne- a Switch guy because he's always on the go. He, he does get down on some Switch, but he's more of an... Uh, Game Boy Advance SP. <laughs> he likes to play Fire Emblem. Yeah. Can oh, you... have you have you seen the new uh, Pokemon game? I have not. Is it good? I hear it's good. I hear it's a cool concept, but I heard the graphics are really bad. It, it, they people are saying it looks like PlayStation Two graphics. I love that. I it looks cool though because it's like. You're in an open world, like, you throw your Pokemon out when you want to battle, and you're, like, your person just doesn't, like, disappear. It's just, like, it's there, and you're still moving around and stuff. Like, you can, you have to, like, dodge attacks sometimes if it, you're in the way. It, lo- it looks like a really cool concept. That actually sounds fun. How- and it's only for Switch? Yeah, I think so. Damn, I need to get me one of them someday. I know. I was going to get one, like, peak COVID, just to be Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'm going to, like, since I'm going to be inside all the time, I'm going to get a Switch. But they were all sold out, and I couldn't get one. Get get a Retroid Pocket. Yeah, when is that coming out? (laughs) Um, well, not that, not that, that's a different one. There's Uh, another uh, one where you can download, uh, ROMs. It's actually, like, $100 cheaper. It's literally $100. And you can download, like, um, Game Boy all the way up to, like, you, you can download, like, old Nintendo games. You can download, like, all kinds of cool shit. P- you can okay. PSP games. And it's pretty cheap, too. And, and they come mm-hmm. with, like, cool cool colorways. Retro Pocket 2 yeah. Plus. I used to be able to just download ROMs on my iPhone. Yeah. But the Apple became a dick about it and blocked all those ROMs yeah. that you could download. Yeah. I used to play Pokemon Fire Emblem on my on my phone and I got super far and then they like like took it away and I couldn't finish it. Yeah. Dude, you know what would be a cool game if they made into an open world map? What? Um Pokemon Dungeon, bro. Rescue? Red Rescue? Yeah, yeah. I Dude, think I think a lot of yeah, definitely. I think a lot of people were waiting for an open world Pokemon game. I don't think Arceus is there yet. That's the new one. Yeah. But yeah, dude, Pokemon Dungeon, I used to play that so fucking much. <laughs> it took forever to evolve in that game, bro. Forever. You would, you had to basically beat the game. I know. I could not get far at all in that game cuz it was just so hard. Some of the dungeons were just like, "Holy shit." Like, how am I supposed to get past this? I evolved twice in that game. I never I, evolved. Bro, it is the... I'm telling you, it was up there for, like, 
most satisfying moments in a video game is when you finally evolve in that game. It's like, oh. But the, if, what was kind of dumb is you could literally evolve one right into the next. So, like, let's say I was Totodile. I was then for Alligator, bro. I could, like, immediately evolve right to, for Alligator. Why is that? Like, what do you mean, like, immediately? You didn't have to do any other, like, missions or anything? In between, no. For, uh... I had so much, you have so much XP stored up that, like, you know, you have all these levels you crew, so it's like, you go boom, and then you could literally, if you want to, you could choose to evolve right into the next one. And I did that. That's I, crazy, I, dude. I, I, I think I did that with Charmander, too. I had a uh, uh, Charizard, I think, on one. Yeah, I was a uh, Charmander the whole time. Mm. Wasn't it like. Wait, what were the starters in that? What what could you? Pick? It was, it was based off your personality type, bro. That's what was so sweet. Oh about it. yeah, that's right. I remember I would get like Trico sometimes. Yeah. And like uh, Charmander. I got Totodile. I got Totodile. Brag about it. I will. I love Totodile. He's probably my favorite starter. <laughs> So, I want to introduce another segment into the podcast. Are you ready for this? Yes. This is this one is solely dedicated to you, and I'm going to put you through the ringer. But to get your feet wet, I have just a simple task for you. And what is this task? So, the segment is called Ganon's Improv. I haven't found a cool title for it yet, but as of right now, Ganon Improv. Yeah. And... The the whole point of this is to give him certain uh, uh, prompts for him to do. I'll give him like, oh, uh, Barry Rigamortis, Barney Rigamortis is uh, out of suckies in the back and he's dealing with a Karen in the front. <laughs> uh, that was one of the prompts. <laughs> okay. But for this one, uh, all I want you to do, honestly, is to do a country accent for the <laughs> remainder of the podcast. Okay. I think I could do that. It's think, pretty. It's, you think you'd, yeah. I think you And we're going to just go, like, it's going to, we're going to start it, and then we're going to just keep talking about other topics. Are you ready? Sounds good to me. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so what are your thoughts on the current Russia Ukraine situation? I actually do not know what the uh, Russian Ukraine situation currently is. So, could you actually fill me in on that? <laughs> so Russia is uh, planning on invading Ukraine. Ukraine is uh, thinking about joining NATO, and uh, that will just put Russia in a bad situation, basically bordering a NATO country. Mm-hmm. And so Russia's like, fuck that. We're going to invade Ukraine. Obviously, Ukraine and the United States are allies, so... There, there's a potential World War Three on the horizon. What are your thoughts? Well, all I can say is tag them and bag them, baby. <laughs> America, red, white, and blue, until the day I die, of course. Um, so if wait, there's a lot to process with that, to be honest yeah. with you. Um, first of all, I don't know where the fuck Ukraine's even at <laughs> uh, geographically. <laughs> <It's>, it, <laughs> It borders Russia to the west. Okay, borders Russia to the west. Okay. Um, well, I I know the west out here is California, <laughs> so that's a scary place. Um, goodness gracious, that's crazy. Ukraine yeah. just Ukraine just says <laughs> Ukraine says they gonna join NATO. The only NATO I know is a tornado. Okay, and so I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying. I'm trying to process all this together. Uh, no, it's okay. We <laughs> we can move on if you want. Are you sure? I'm literally crying. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So let me let me ask you this. What's the worst thing you've seen on the internet? The worst thing I ever seen on the internet was probably um, one guy one jar. Oh yeah, same here. Actually, no, but it's up there for me. Oh, actually, oh. Actually, probably. Did you did you hear about the those guys that got busted um, on the dark web? They were called uh, Two Guys One Hammer. No, 
and I just realized I, w- I broke character for a second, but it's it's no, actually it, it's, it's it actually was, a it's a serious topic. So I don't know if I can continue talking about it with uh, no, I <laughs> with the, see that that's that's the whole point. I want you to talk about really serious stuff with your uh, country accent. Alrighty, well, so essentially, it's these two like fucked up psychopaths that had a hammer and they would kill people that would go across these uh, like jog runways and shit like you know there's people that wear, like the sweatsuits that do the running yeah, and the yeah. jogging and uh they would kill a, a dog they killed an old man all right they would like they would fuck them up too it was so bad and i so they I, would just I, like i, I did see in- i did see one once on that like it yeah it was not so they, fun they just hide in a bush and no, they were they would and- they were psychopath they were full psychopaths chase they had no emotions they were full on narcissistic fucking demon people man they would come up and talk to them they right and act like they were just like looking for directions and whatnot mm-hmm. and then they would just start killing them with a hammer brutal big hammer and brutally assault them uh no it was like a regular like uh like you're building a house little little like bob builder ha- hammer you put it on a tool belt <laughs> had a claw on it you know okay yeah you pull. Oh, you man, usually, you yeah. usually pull nails out with it, but instead they would pull face parts out with it. Jesus Christ! And they would do this in public. They would fucking videotape it. Yeah, in public. It, they wanted to like, yeah, take them it, back to a oh, warehouse. Oh no, no, no! They would full on kill them on this runway. They wanted a full Jeez. spectacle. Was this in the states? No, it was over. I think in uh, like fucking Russia or something. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they got arrested yeah, and it was like f- fucking news and shit. That that sounds terrible. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Pretty gruesome to watch too. Really uh and it's yeah. Yeah, that's actually so, the worst thing I've seen. Yeah. So I uh I wanted to say what my worst thing was and there's this subreddit called uh I bleach. I bleach. You know, like the bleach, the fucking oh, shit you drink they put that. Clothes. Yeah, oh. you drink it. Don't yeah. don't actually drink it. <laughs> but uh, it's it's on Reddit. Please, if you are under the age of eighteen, do not watch it or do not go to that subreddit. Or if you're just uh, got a weak stomach, faint of heart, do not. It's the some of the most goriest, disgusting stuff that you will ever see. And you it, go there. Just, I went there one time, one time, one time, and I, for some reason, for some reason, I spent almost like 40 minutes on this just looking at everything. I was uh-huh. like, Jesus fucking Christ. And the, the worst part about it, it was like, it was disgusting, brutal stuff, and I was like honestly feeling nauseous watching it, but it was just something about it kept me wanting to watch more. And your favorite fucking- movie's Footloose? <laughs> What the fuck, dude? <laughs> no, I, I didn't enjoy any of it. It was just, like, entertaining. It No, 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 no. It wasn't entertaining. It was just, like, I couldn't I couldn't look away, you know? It was just, like, something so brutal and violent that I just couldn't look away. But some of the, some of the stuff that I wanted to talk about, it was, like, straight up people, like, getting shot in the face, and they were videotaping yeah. it, and you just saw brains and guts fly out of their head. And people, like, getting murdered and, like, uh, people, like, drinking acid. And it would just, you could oh, see that's it, a like, good time. dissolving. Yeah, you saw it, like, dissolve their neck and everything. Like, it was it was oh, awesome. that kind of acid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind then. <laughs> but one of the one of the worst thing, it's uh, genital mutilation. Mutilation. Oh, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, you need and, Jesus. That's what you need. <laughs> you need to. You need to go to not I bleach. You need to go to I Jesus. I need to find. You need to find him, man. That's <laughs> fucked up. But what, let me explain it to you. It is literally there's a large group of people that just find pleasure and enjoyment from this. It is people will like suffocate their dick and balls like with zip ties just. Oh make it like zip it up as tight as possible some of them have it completely ripped off they rip it off 
some of them get reattached and then they will do it again. Some people just, some people will cut, (laughs) some people will cut down the middle of their penis and split it open. I saw, I saw a, a woman's vagina. Just, she just cut it off. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And people, and people get it reattached and do it again. You know, so they're obviously finding some sort of pleasure with it. That's so fucked up. Those why, are the psychopaths. Why can't people just like just be normal? Like just go go to a nice like bathroom, you know, beat down, get out the bathroom, you know. Like why do they got to do all the weird stuff? Why do they got to be so weird about it? Well, there there's a famous quote, Gannon, and I don't know if you're you're aware of this, but there ain't no rest for the wicked. Oh, that's right. It's like that one uh, song by Casey Elephant. I love that song. I love that <laughs> band too. They're really good. Yeah. So let's get away from some of the gross, disgusting, bad topics. Uh, you were you were discuss- discussing before the podcast that you can't listen to rap music anymore. What what's going on? You you were just in a music funk. I'm just. I, I've gotten to a point, and honestly, the country accent d- does not help with this conversation at all. But it's just <laughs> like, it, honestly, it's just like I'd be listening to beautiful ass beats get wasted with just boring lyrics. Just like so, I'm just bored listening to them to listen to these songs. Like I've been listening to a lot of the Jors, you know, with Jim Morrison. Been listening to uh, um, what else? Led Zeppelin, some of that Jimi Hendrix up in there. Uh, there's a so- this band called Canned Heat. They sing some good old tunes. I've been listening to a lot of old music, old rock for some reason. It's been I don't like. You know, I mean, I like some ACDC songs, but I'm more like I like more swingy rap music. Uh, not rap rock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah, that yeah. old school shit. You know that. With some vibes, I get some you. energy, some I love. always, yeah, I always get into like a weird time every year where I just want to listen to like alternative stuff, you know. And it's just mm. like I, I want to get away from like the same old music. And right now, even like I'm just listening to old stuff, you know, yeah. that I just I've listened to a thousand times, and it's just like stuff that I'm familiar with, and I don't feel like listening to the new stuff anymore. Yeah. It just I feel like everything I haven't been excited for a music drop in a minute. No, I have not either. <laughs> like I'm it, ready for Kendrick to drop. That would be good. Oh, he's dropping soon. Oh, since we're on the since we're I'm, now I'm doing the fucking country accent. <laughs> Please do. The water's warm. Uh, since we're doing the <laughs> Welcome back to Hip Hop uh, r- original hip hop with your hosts Cornelius and Cletus. Yeah. Uh, uh, breaking news: uh, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky are having a child together. I did, did you see that? that. Yeah, that's gonna be a well, a, conc- a fashion killer baby. <laughs> fashion killer killing the game and killing the game. If yeah. you know what I mean. Lucky man. And well, <laughs> man. Yeah, that's true. Both very pretty people. They are they are both good looking and they are both extremely talented in everything that they do and they come from a lot of money so that kid is going to be very well off. It, it, it'll be chilling and learn how to play the big, piano. A big old chilling. So we just want to say congratulations to Rihanna and Laura Flacco, Captain Falcon, Laura Flacco, Jody. Yeah. Mhm. Pretty Flacco. <laughs> But yeah, how you, how you feeling? Honestly, I feel so fucking good, dude. Like ten out of ten, probably. <laughs> I can't even count any higher. I <laughs> that got me. I I honestly didn't think you were gonna go that entire time. On I thought you were gonna break it at some point. I don't know what you're talking about. This is my normal accent. <laughs> you know, the whole time I'm on this show, I have to act like. Oh, hey guys, I'm Cannon, just here. No, this is my actual voice. Yeah, I actually pay Gannon to do a different 
accent because it's the country accent. It just throws everybody off. Sound like a fucking Yankee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. I'm a fucking cowboy. This house been since day one. I came. I came out the womb wearing Wrangler jeans, brother man. And a and a revolver. And a revolver. And yeah, in my hand. It's funny because you actually do have a revolver tattooed on your arm. I love it. It's one of my favorite tattoos. I'm going. Oh, we should we talk about it? Bangles. Yeah, yeah, we should. Oh boy. I'm so excited. I love them. If you guys did not watch that game the other day, yesterday, it's Monday when we're recording it. It will be two days when yeah. you guys hear this. The Bengals are going to the motherfucking Super Bowl. Our boys did it. Let me say it again. The Bengals are going to the Super Bowl. Joey B, Jamar <laughs> Chase, all them boys. Mac Money. They go. Mac fucking Money. My guy. That's why you draft a kicker. That's why you draft one. <laughs> That's why you draft a goddamn kicker. But they're going up against the Rams. They have a very good defensive line. I'm a little scared, especially since our offensive line is bupkiss. Yeah. But, you know, honestly, I did not think the Bengals were going to make it this far. Uh, I'm not going to say who's going to win because we fucking jinx ourselves with the Ohio State game. Uh, what I will say is just good luck to Cincinnati. Uh, we you love have you. All my support. We we love you. We love the city. Uh, you have all my support and out here in Colorado. Uh, but dude, oh dude, since it's since so good. Colorado's since Colorado's right next to uh, Kansas City. <laughs> there's a lot of Kansas City fans out here. Yeah. Oh boy, was it desolate That's last so night? Funny. It is funny, but yeah, uh, just. Hope hope good things happen. <laughs> I do too, brother. And then I'm gonna get that tat. I'm gonna get that tattoo then. Oh yeah! If uh, uh j- if they win, if the Bengals win the Super Bowl, Gannon is going to get a Bengal Tiger tattoo. Honestly, I'm gonna get one too. Dude. I because a fucking Bengal Tiger is sick to get tattooed anyways. If they yeah. win it, that just gives me more of a reason. To do That's it. what I'm saying, bro. I'm gonna get it traditional on my left knee. He's going to have sunglasses on. He's going to be smoking a cigar. Because I'll be smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get just like a fucking traditional one. I don't know where I'm going to put it. But, dude. But, yeah. This was a good one. I agree, brother man. <laughs> well, uh, did you want to give us a... Did you want to say that stuff? Did you want to put plug hmm. us? Oh. You can see... You can, you can find us on all platforms. That's right. I repeat, all platforms. I'm talking Spotify... What's that over there? Oh, Apple Music. Trip fall down the stairs. What's this? YouTube, baby. We're there. Comment, like, whatever you if you or dislike even. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. No, please, please don't. No, fucking contr- uh, uh, constructive criticism is always good. Okay, I say no matter what, everything helps. Um, what else? Uh, the Death Our Friend is on the Patreon, Chapter 1. Chapter 2 will be coming soon, right? Um, but you, you guys, you guys will love it, man. I'm telling you what, there will be some twists, some turns, smoking, and some burns, baby. Okay? You all have a great week, great weekend, great life. I love you. Smile sometimes. It don't hurt. I promise. Okay? That's it. Yeah, like Gannon said, like, comment, subscribe, smile, do what you can to get by in this laugh. But we will see you next week on the podcast next Tuesday. Uh, we appreciate your support. Uh, but my name was Chase, and I was, am, and will always be Gann Man. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. Bye bye. Peace.